Well, good morning, students. Uh, another exciting week ahead of us. Um, I'm glad to finally start handing things over a little bit to our, our student council. As you guys will hear shortly, we're going to have some, some information coming out about our student body president, and vice president speeches and elections, um, which will be sometime in September. Uh, but until that time, we're going to allow some of our senior leaders and some of the other members of our student council and honor board lead these assemblies. So without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to them um, with the leadership of Mr. Jason Glick. Hey, Scott, welcome back for your 2021 sc uh, school year. I'm Ms. Bork, and I'm here with Mr. Glick today and your student council seniors will be leading your very first assembly of the year. So I'd like to introduce you to Nina Pathler, Lucas Walsh, and Ellen Niren, some of your Stuco seniors. Take it away, guys. Yes, and actually Jacob Goldberg, who's also a senior member of the Student Council, couldn't be with us here in the studio, so we're going to throw it over to him in a remote location as he kicks things off with the recitation of the Honor Pledge and, of course, the Pledge of Allegiance. Here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As a member of St. Andrew's School, I pledge my honesty, academic integrity, sportsmanship, and stewardship to the school community, and I expect others to be responsible and to do the same. Honor above all. Please join me to read the St. Andrew's School prayer. Almighty God, eternal word, Lord of all your creatures, look with pleasure on this your work. The school is students, staff, and teachers. May we, your children, know your will. May we obey the calling of your word. And may we serve as our gifts allow the whole of your creation. Strengthen each unique soul. Excite each mind with holy fire. Demand our best and help us meet your call with all courage. Your worthy children, let us be. Help us bring honor to our patron Andrew's name and greater glory to your holy name. These things we pray through God our Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Grant St. Andrew's School success, and each your sons and daughter bless. Amen. Okay, hi, my name is Nina Passler. This is Ellen Niren, and on the end is Lucas Walsh who are our student council seniors for now. And Lucas can tell us the rest of the student council group. Yes, hello everyone. So our junior class president is Frank um, and the representatives for our junior class are Jack Grubman and Chris Warren and also Thomas He. And for our sophomore class, our president is J.D. Pena and the representatives are Tori Wheat and Jack Schulte. And then Ella will talk a little bit about some of the activities student council likes to do. Traditionally, Stuco runs some major events such as homecoming and Winterfest. And the purpose of student council is to listen to the desires and goals of you guys, the student body, and attempt to find a way to execute those ideas and desires and goals. And this year specifically, student council is working to unite all different student leadership groups consisting of SASA, Honor Board, and Res Life, and even more clubs with student leaders to help our school community. One of our goals for the years is to train student leaders and extend student leadership opportunities. This year is definitely weird, but we are doing our best to keep it as close to normal as possible. Stuco is already working hard to come up with safe ways to hold different events this year. Even in your backyard Ninja Warrior course, it's still cheating. Even when you're at your desk, it's still cheating. Even on an electric scooter, it's still cheating. Even on a trampoline, it's still cheating. Even by the pool, it's still cheating. Even if you're walking your dogs, it's still cheating. Even in the kitchen getting food, it's still cheating. Even on your bed, it's still cheating. Even when you're watching Netflix, it's still cheating. Putting in the work while doing the work, can't forget that work exciting. Even in the gym, it's still cheating. 
Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm Haley. I'm Ellie. And I'm Claire. And we are the seniors on the honor board. We know online learning can present many challenges, but violations of the honor code should not be one of them. As students, we are still expected to conduct ourselves ethically and encourage others to do the same. It is important to continue the respect we show to our teachers and classmates by maintaining the same integrity we have in person. We want to remind you that you will still face the honor system and want you to consider the myriad of consequences your actions have on not only yourself, but those around you as well. No matter where we are, honor unites us as a community. So let's keep that shared value in mind as we begin the new school year. And remember, honor <laughs> above all. Hey Scots, my name is Tori Wheat. I'm a sophomore in student council and I'm here to remind you that if you haven't already, please go on Instagram and follow at SA Leaders. SA Leaders is a student council run Instagram that is going to keep you updated on club events, different student led events, and just a bunch of campus knowledge that you might need to know. Our goal is to keep you informed during like times like this so that you know what you need to know for coming back to school. I hope to see you back on campus in the fall. Bye. All right, St. Andrews School, how are you doing? It's Mr. Glick. Am I coming through clear? Can you hear me? Let me see. Maybe I'll take this mic. Me and my mic. It's only for me. Anyway, really quickly, what we want to do now is we want to make sure one last time that you get out your phones if you haven't done this already. And we want to get you onto the St. Andrews School app and into the upper school student group because we're going to be using this to um, push out notifications all school year long. In fact, this assembly itself was announced in part through the group app. So what you do is, is you get out your phone and you make sure that you've downloaded uh, the, the St. Andrews School app, which is so much fun. I use it all the time. And you're going to toggle over here to where it says groups. And all you have to do is type in the word Go Scots, all one word, okay? And once you do that, it's that easy. You're in the group. You made it. You've passed the audition. All right, so thank you for watching. We're going to have a great year. Hopefully you've been enjoying this assembly. It's great to be together, even if it's virtual. We're going to have a great time. Just, ah, we're going to do it because we have to do it and because you deserve it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of this assembly. Go Scots. And remember, go Scots. And don't forget, go Scots. Good luck. Peace to the world. See you soon. And now for something completely different. Hey, Haley, do you ever wonder if there are parallel universes? Hmm. Meanwhile, in a parallel universe where books are hot. <laughs> Meanwhile, in a parallel universe where burps are dubstep. Dude, seriously? Meanwhile, in a parallel universe where chairs are log flume rides. <laughs> Meanwhile, in a parallel universe where cloning is legal. Meanwhile, in a parallel universe where no one is called Ella. Hey, wait, do you know of anyone named Ella? Nope, not that I've heard of. Weird. Me neither. Meanwhile, in a parallel universe where people occasionally mistake their hand for a bear. Oh my god, it's a bear! It's a bear hand! Meanwhile, in a parallel universe where watches don't exist. Hey, Haley, do you have the time? Don't you have a watch? What the heck is a watch? I don't know! Meanwhile, in a parallel universe where dinosaurs are alive, but also invisible. Is there a dinosaur here? I don't know, but it's entirely possible. Meanwhile, in a parallel universe where sitting is gross. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Meanwhile, in a parallel universe where thinking about the homecoming dance makes your head heavy. Meanwhile, in a parallel universe where a lightning alarm means you won the lottery. Lightning alarm. Seek shelter. We won! We won! Meanwhile, in a parallel universe where using hand sanitizer creates wormholes. Oh my god! Meanwhile, in our universe. Hey, let's pump a gel. So now, Mr. Glick, if we can get to know the Scots as taught. So, first up, we have our first baby picture, which is over here. The hint is that she's a freshman and. Mr. Glick, whenever you're ready, do the reveal. It's Grace Shriner. Welcome to the upper school. We're so excited to have you. I hope you guys got it. But now we have another baby picture that's going to be also over here. It's 
your guesses. Your hint for grade is grade 10. Think about it, think about it, Mr. Glick. And it's Luke Sadaka. I wonder if you got that, I can't tell. And then lastly, we have one more baby pick. Guess who this little girl is? I don't know. <laughs> and then the reveal is Ange Finacaro. So yes, she's in 12th grade. I probably should have said that, but oh well. Hope you got it. <laughs> thank you. So yeah, thank you guys for joining us. It was super fun to talk to you and even have like a little segment in there and expect more to come from student council during these few virtual assemblies. Thank you guys and go Scott.